Welcome everyone to part seven of build 25. This is just going to be a quick video to finish off the build log. It's going to have a good look at the finished product and also the test results. You're now looking at the part of a, a build which really takes the most effort and time if you're going to do full custom cables. There's a lot of different levels of custom cables. You can get somebody else to sleeve your core component cables and you know then it's just really a matter of assembly for the build which can be done fairly quickly but you know then if you choose to do the core component cables yourself it's still only a short amount of time to do that it can be done in half a day but if you're going to do all of the cables custom not just sleeved but customized to length it's going to take up at, at least up to half of the amount of time of the entire build. Even a build like this with case mods and custom paint, there's just a huge amount of time in the cables. You add an Aquero and yeah, it just gets even more complicated because you are then doing all of these custom cables, extra fan extensions from the splitters and you know, lighting if you have a, a fab work. If you have aqua bus pumps, there's like four or five cables that run to those. So, yeah, there's a huge amount of cables here and I, I just wanted to spend a little bit longer looking at all of the work that went into these. Because I've run them parallel to each other, so there's no crossing over, it means that they take up hardly any space at all. Like, if these cables weren't customized and they weren't customized to length, none of this would have fit. There's absolutely no way that these components would have fit. And, you know, that's just due to the amount of components that are in the case and also the case mods, which I've done for this build, of which there's a lot, but it's just difficult to see because they're all kind of factory mods for function instead of form. Now for the big moment, I need to install the rear side panel. And this is something I haven't even tried yet. With the case mods that I've done and the cables back here, I'm not even sure if it's going to fit. It's a very tight space back here in the Fractal Define R5, only about 20 millimeters. And if it doesn't fit, I mean, this thing is finished and up and running. It's going to be a disaster. And I have the sound dampening foam in there too. So let's see how it goes. So as you can see, this build went in one of our standard flight cases instead of our high-end flight cases, and that's because this build is not actually going too far. So that's it for this build log. We have a lot of new build logs starting very soon for the new year, and I am really looking forward to them. We have a lot more Threadripper builds coming up as well. So thanks for watching.